Chapter three, your calendar. Here, you're gonna be creating and managing your virtual timetables. As you can see, the navigation menu disappears. To bring it back, just click here. And if you want to get rid of it again, just click the X. Choose the calendar you want to make the changes to by clicking it. As you can see, there's a line under this icon. This shows which calendar is attached to the player at the moment. You can see both calendars at one time if you need to by clicking both icons. To see just one of them, unclick the other and click the one you want. You can change the look of your calendar on your screen over on the right here, showing different views, day, week and month. By clicking this view button, you can alter the start and finish time of your calendar. If you want to move along a week or two and back again. Once you're happy with the calendar you have created, do remember to publish it by clicking here so your player knows it's there. When you need to create a new calendar, just click, give it a name. You can populate your new calendar in advance and attach it to your player when you're ready. You can, of course, clone a calendar from another one you've already have and just make alterations to it. Use the drop down and give it a name. Press create calendar. The icon here shows the virtual classes you have available. You can make the list shorter and more manageable by using these filters. Provider, Category, Level and Duration. Once you've found the class you want, just drag it, drop it in the calendar where you want it to play. The reoccurring event automatically sets for 365 days and will repeat. A one-off event is just for today only, that one day. You might want to use that facility to cover a live instructor if they're not available to teach a class or possibly staff training so everyone can experience a virtual class. If you've made a mistake at any time, just click, you change your mind. You can also add live instructor-led classes to your schedule. Once they're set up, just the same as your calendar, just drag them and drop them in. We'll go through how to add your own classes a little bit later on in Chapter 7. Once you've marked your favourite classes, they appear here. Again, just drag and drop as before. These special blocks allow you to block out any on-demand time for your studio. This could be needed if you have a one-off event in your studio, possibly you're hiring it out for a special occasion, or you might allow your personal trainers to use the studio at certain times. By using this block, you will stop members playing a class when you need the studio to be used for other things. Just as before, drag and drop. To attach the calendar to your player, you'll need to press here. This will take you to the calendar settings page where you can choose which player you want to attach the calendar to. As you can see, your calendar names are here. More on this on chapter six. For your general calendar settings, you can change your start date if that's Monday or a Sunday, if you want a 12 or a 24 hour clock, and if you want the day or the month to show up first. The reoccurring event default time is naturally 365 days. And of course, as mentioned earlier, please do remember to publish once you're happy with your calendar. The next function we're going to be going through is your marketing.